Hello and a warm welcome from the gateway to some of the most picturesque scenery anywhere in England. We're at the Vitality Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Bournemouth up against Newcastle United. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. So the starting 11 for Newcastle United. Martin Dubravka is the goalkeeper. Kieran Trippier starts with Matt Target in the fullback positions. And the striker today is Alexander Izak. And this confrontation is underway. Difficult to stop him. And Newcastle come away with it. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, Derek, we know he's a good all-round finisher, but I think his greatest attribute is his heading ability. He seems to hang in the air, he's got great technique when the ball comes onto his head. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Well, here it is again, and while it's a good strike down the side of the wall, the keeper should have that covered. That's not good goalkeeping. So the action continues, and it's up to the Magpies to wipe out that last goal. Bruno Guimaraes. Long stuff. Almiron. This could be the equaliser. Now the keeper completely untroubled. Now oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. It comes to nothing in the end. Isaac. Surely the equaliser. Keeper did his job to begin with. And he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Christie. Kleibert. 
Tavernier. Antoine Semenyo. Now with Ryan Christie. Well, this is what you call passing with confidence. Joel Linton. Making progress. Anthony Gordon. Now he must favour the cross. Really good build up, but no end product. And support available. Christie. Bournemouth struggling to keep possession. Joel Linton. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Ball retention so important. Guimaraes. Isaac. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Now the quick counter-attack could be on. Antoine Semenyo. Decides to shoot, and he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Short corner it is. Billing. Will he find the net? He opted for placement, but it didn't happen for him. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Will he play it in? The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. Real chance. And danger still, and held by the keeper at the second time of asking. Well, he's just pulled off a great first save there. Now they can all calm down. Antoine Semenyo. And there's Unal with it. Christie. A very good tackle. Bruno Guimaraes. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Isaac. Back with Almiron. Inside he goes. Have no interest in losing possession. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? Full marks to the keeper. Well, what a reaction from the goalkeeper. Such a good save in the end. Who can he pick out? And cleared off the line. Well, there it is, the half-time whistle. We've reached the midway point of the game here at the Vitality. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. A very effective challenge put in. Trying to really get at the opposition here. But really sticking to the task defensively. 
Antoine Semenyo. Well, Bournemouth couldn't keep it. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. Isaac. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. And foul it is then. Substitution for Newcastle United. Well, they've decided to make a change. Number 10, Anthony Gordon. To be replaced by number 9, Callum Wilson. Well, nicely cut out. Now what can they do with the ball? And that is how to beat your opponent. Well, in fairness, he's managed to redeem himself. So, half an hour remaining. Kleibert. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Guimaraes. Trippier now. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Well found wanting in the throw-in department there. Lascelles. Trippier. Lascelles. Committed challenge. Clivert. Opportunity it is. Goalkeeping of the high. Order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Going short. Has the strength to hang on to it. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Barnes Isaac now the counter attack looks on well that takes the wind out of their sails great defending now who can he play it to Trippier Joe Willock. And forward they go again. Can they win this? Must take the lead here. Oh, a vital piece of last ditch defending. Well, the fans are making so much noise here. They believe the winner's coming, but it needs a moment of inspiration for one of those players out on the pitch. What a finale we've got. Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. And it might be the goal that gives them victory. Well, we can take another look now. It's wonderful interplay between the two of them to start the move. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? 
Guimaraes. And so into the final five minutes. Bruno Guimaraes. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation. Attacking though they might be. Well, that's good defending. Well organised at the back. Kleibert. Good strength to keep the ball. Well, keeping the ball in this manner can be very effective. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Christie. Here's Kleibert. Sinistera. And he's through here. And the keeper comes to the rescue. They still have a chance. Well, if they do get an equaliser, this goalkeeper has just pulled off a magnificent save. Who can he pick out? And the danger's still on. It's there for him. In it goes to increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Well, he knows his team haven't been good enough in this game, but how does he change it? So the referee blows for full time, and the story here, a victory for Bournemouth. How would you assess their performance? Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It's a great performance. Well, really, no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.